have you watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. I was just praying and I was like, Holy Spirit, direct, guide. <gasps> and then Holy Spirit led me to this verse and I love this verse. It's in Psalms 43 verse 3 and it says, Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me and let them bring me to your holy hill, to your dwelling places. And some of you watching right now, you absolutely need some truth and some illumination in your life. You feel like life is a little bit murky and there's some uncertainty and some confusion. And the Holy Spirit wants to help you see clearly. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you that God would send his truth and his light so that you could walk in supernatural truth, illumination and, and freedom clarity. So hop on the phone, get on the website. And I know God has answers for you. So that's Psalms 43 verse three. Oh, mom, I'm so excited. We so have Anna Warner with us. Yay! I, I think you're the best. Oh, <laughs> totally good. And you have this cool book called Seer's Path. We're going to talk about it in a minute, mm -hmm. but not all of our audience is familiar with the cool Anna. So <laughs> tell okay. us a little bit of your background, <laughs> where you're from, kind of how you grew up and, and uh, just a little bit of connection for us. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yep. Um, I'm originally from California, but now my husband and me live in Kansas City, Missouri is where we reside. So God's done a crazy journey with us where we've traveled around the world. We were in Africa for a while. We were in Nepal and India, and now we're back in the States. So, um, and we have two beautiful children. I have to give them a shout out because I love them. They're, my son's 15 months old, Ellis, and my daughter is three and a half. Nice. So yeah, so I'm just happy to be here and meet you guys and talk about my book. Nice. I'm really excited to be nice, here. Nice, nice, nice. Now, Anna, I loved your book. I read it all Thank the you. way through. You know, I didn't just scan it, I read it. And it really got into my heart. And I think something for all of you watching us, when you see the book's title, The Seer's Path, you know, what is a seer? And what is a prophet? And are they profitable? And how could this be book be profitable to you. So could you tell us that? You share that really early in the book and I appreciated that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get asked that a lot. Just yeah. what is a seer? In fact, my husband asked me that when we first got married. I told him I'm a seer and he went, what? <laughs> what does that uh -oh. mean? <laughs> so um, a seer isn't a made up term. It's actually in the Bible. You can flip through the Bible and see it. Right. And uh, seers were used to, it's like they hear from the Lord through the gift of sight. So prophets also hear from the Lord, but not always through the gift of sight. They might just hear God. They don't receive wisdom through just primarily seeing. So that's kind of the difference between the two, a seer and a prophet, but they both prophesy. They both work with that same gift of discernment and prophecy. If that makes sense. So and one of the things, and I, I read this, you know, I was thinking right out of the gate, you talk at the very first story here, what's a seer? Your husband asked that question, what's a seer? And you just answer that for us. But one of the things that I think is so essential in this, in this book is you speak to the idea that as a follower of Jesus, we can walk and have more supernatural and more spiritual mm -hmm. illumination. You know, um, mm -hmm. and some of us don't always feel like we have that. Like some of us, we, you know, I'm like, man, day to day doing the laundry. Oh my gosh. How many times do I have to see these stupid socks, right? That never match. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to talk about that. Cause you know, I'm always doing matching on Saturdays Ugh. again, you know, and it doesn't feel like, feels like my day to day doesn't have a lot of supernatural seeing. What would you, how do you speak to that? Yeah. I mean, I'm a mom too. So yep. I, you know, I've. I'm in the same place as you, but I feel like um, we're all called to pursue the gifts and all of them. Um, whether or not we naturally walk in the gifts, you know, we're not, I'm, I don't feel like I'm naturally a teacher. I'm stepping into this now, but um, we're called to all pursue the gifts. That's like 1 Corinthians 12 says that, eagerly desire all the gifts. So seeing is for everybody. I want to just encourage, that's why I wrote this book, is just to encourage people that even though you might not be walking in this now, there are things you can do to practically grow in it and day in and day out have these supernatural encounters with God. I love that. And I, I want to help you biblically because we say, well, who is a seer in the Bible? And so when I look at Samuel, mm -hmm. I see he is a seer and a prophet. But when I read Jeremiah, I, he's not really, he has some visuals. Ezekiel has quite a few, but a lot of the prophets who are very profitable don't see. 
they prophesy. prophesy. And so this is together, but you talk in the book about a dimension that every Christian can live in as a seer. And you know, some of you watching right now, you really need prayer on some things. I just feel that in my heart. Mm. You really have some hot spots that are burning you. And that's why I love, and Sarah does too, that you can call our prayer line. We don't counsel, but we love to pray. And if we had testimonies here today, you would read and hear so many wonderful testimonies. So call us for prayer. But the book, I couldn't put it down till I finished it. I love to read, but I thought, wow, I want to live much more in that dimension. So share that dimension. You started in this at five years old? Yeah, when I was five years old, um, I saw my first angel. An angel walked into my room. I was just playing with toys and an angel walked into my room and it wasn't like I was afraid. You would think I would be, but I wasn't. It was just, it was like a friend I'd always known. And um, I played with the angel. I asked him if I could touch his wing and he let me. And then he told me he'd be my guardian angel and that he'd be back. Cause I said, will you be back? And he said, yeah, I'll be back throughout your life. And then it, he was gone just like that. And then I went out and I told my mom what I had seen. And she wrote it down and was like, wow, I think this was real, it's, you know. Um, so that was my first encounter with seeing the supernatural. And then I had nothing for years, like years and years and years until I was 22 and I was living in Brazil. And then I started, I was a missionary there in the drug trafficking slums and I started having these encounters where I started seeing, you know, I would see whole, uh, wars and battles going on where I would see the angelic and the demonic over an entire city. Um, and I would see also just like the strongholds of the city. And um, so that was, from then on, I started growing more and more and more. And I, I mean, that's why I encourage people because I personally grew in it. It wasn't something where, okay, I'm seeing the new Jerusalem, boom, just like that. You know, it's like something I really grew in. God taught me how, so. So do you believe that every Christian, Anna, can move into a dimension of seeing? I do. Not just prophets, so to speak, but every Christian. I do. I believe every Christian can. Not that everyone's called to the office right. per se of a seer. We all have our callings. Not that everyone's called, this is your calling, but that you can grow in this gift, that you can also to see and have supernatural encounters with Jesus. So. Of course, get the book because the book is going to help huge, huge amounts. And one of the things I love about books is um, I tend to, I'm a slow reader. Like I am the slowest reader you may meet in your entire life. But I, I read um, with depth, right? So it takes me forever. Oh my gosh. But what happens is it starts to dig into me too and starts to root into me. And I get some really good good mileage out of it. And one of the things I love about this is as you read through this, it really roots in you, roots ideas and thoughts and possibilities. Cause I don't think we always think in terms of possibility. Is it possible for me to see, mm -hmm. to see more supernaturally, to see, you know, cause we all have our, our natural abilities and natural eyes, right? Um, but is it possible for me to see in, in the supernatural realm? And so maybe that's a question that you've had or you've never even thought that way. I would encourage you, hop on the phone, get on the website. This is gonna be a huge resource for you. And one of the things I love is at the end of every chapter, you have discussion questions and activation prayer, which is super really helpful good. because mm -hmm. sometimes we don't know how to pray. You know, like it, the words just kind of are lost on us and it escapes us. But the questions, discussion questions, so you can ask, do it in a small group. The praying, the activation prayer, super, super helpful. So thanks for doing that. The other thing I would say though, ask you on this question, and this, I always think of this in terms of Elisha with his servant who sees, you know, all the hosts of armies that are surrounding mm -hmm. him. And Elisha's like, you know, there's more with us than with them. And he right. prays, open yeah. his eyes so he can see. Yes. Help us on that. Yeah, so in, in that moment, his eyes gets open, right? And he sees all the angelic activity around, but it, they were there all along. It's just that he wasn't seeing. So that's kind of what I like to do in this book is Pray, like 
you know, what you said, I do application stuff, but I pray and I release prayers for that because I believe in impartation, right? There's power in impartation. And so it's like, Anytime I can get around people that I'm like, pray for me, impart to me, you know, right, right. I try to do that because yeah. it's like, I want to grow as a Christian myself in new things. So this is one of those things. So um, that's a scripture I love about seers and the ability to see, you know, if we could see as Christians, what we really carry inside of it, the authority that we carry ourselves. Wow. Mm -hmm. How that would change our view on the day in, day out frustrations that we go through or the little things that hit us that feel like huge battles and warfare. But if we could see who's for us mm -hmm. and know who's for us and grow in that, wow, mm -hmm. wow. You mentioned something too about different ranks of angels. I thought that was very interesting because I think we all know as Christians, we have guardian angels but that there are warrior angels, yes. there are seraphims, there are cherubims, you know, there are special angels appointed to Israel. You know, isn't this quite unique for us? And it's not spooky or kooky, but it is supernatural. And it is something we need to expect in our lives in a dimension of the Holy Spirit. So it's Holy Spirit. It's not goofy things. And we're going to be right back and you're going to share some more of this and some of your experiences and how this is a day-to-day -day lifestyle, not, oh dear, I was caught into the heavenlies 29 years ago mm -hmm. and I can't have anything like that now. So you don't want to miss anything. Stay right there because God wants to touch you and have you move more in the supernatural. Just beyond what your eyes can see is a very real spirit world. For your gift of $25 or more, we'll send you Anna Werner's book, The Seer's Path, through an engaging blend of supernatural stories, including encounters with Jesus, experiences in heaven, and practical spiritual truths. Anna releases a powerful message that will help you start seeing into the spirit realm. This book will help you gain essential tools for engaging in victorious spiritual warfare unique insights into the workings of angels and demons, insider glimpses into the rooms of heaven and the realms of God's glory. We will also send you Marilyn CD, Supernatural Strategy. This teaching walks you through the Word of God and teaches you how to be successful. You'll be encouraged to open your Bible and read God's plan for you and see that God's Word has all the strategies you'll ever need. Learn to see into the supernatural world and experience the wonders of heaven in your life today. Call or click today for this valuable resource. We'd love to hear from you. Sarah and I love to hear your testimonies. Let me just share one that could help you with maybe where you are in your faith. This is from Lydia and she called in because she was believing for a loan from a bank for a house and everybody said no evidently. And she called in for a prayer and she got her house and it was paid off in three years. Now, do we believe in miracles? Does God want to provide for us? Does he want us to prosper? Is this in the word? Yes. And so we want you to call if you have financial needs. Don't go into a lot of detail, please, but just tell us and let us pray with you. Now, this is a very exciting book to me, Anna, because you really talk about 
angelic visitations from the time you're five and then in different countries. And I had an unusual experience. The first time I went to Pakistan was in 95. And so I met with a group of Christian leaders, you know, because we were going to do an outdoor big healing meeting. I'd never done such a thing. But you know how God is. He just thinks you can do anything. And so here I am, a woman. They've never had a healing meeting in Lahore. And I'm meeting with these pastors, and they said, you can't advertise because it will bring, you know, radical Islamic people. They'll kill you. And I'd already heard that a lot anyway, you know. And so they're discussing whether we should advertise or not. And I said, I believe we should advertise. And I saw an angel and he was so tall. And we were, there were six floors in that hotel. We were on the third floor and he went all the way up above the whole hotel. And so I told them, we can advertise. And of course we had a wonderful meeting. A lot of people saved, a lot of people spirit filled, mm -hmm. but you share and there are various ranks of angels. Mm -hmm. Could you share about that? That's in your book. Yeah, I mean, I can't say that I know all the ranks. You know, I can just yeah. only speak from personal experiences sure. of what I've seen. But I've seen angels um, walk into a room carrying uh, back spines, spinal cords, or carrying kidneys or organs for people as we do healing ministry. Um, you know, and so I've seen angels that are specifically, I feel, assigned for healing. They release healing with them. Um, and then other times I've seen angels that are like warrior angels that come. Like when I mentioned I was in Brazil and there was many times in the drug trafficking slums where my life was in danger. Our teams were in danger a little bit. And, um, you know, I would see these huge warrior angels show up and they, you know, they were carrying, you know, swords and all kinds of instruments to make battle against the enemy. And it was like the Lord would open my eyes in a second, just to show me it, just like that. And like we were mentioning before, you know, it's just like, don't you see who's here for you? You know, and then I wouldn't feel as afraid. Fear would just get released off of me. So I've just seen different forms. Of angels. And then there's angels that just often come show up and just release presence. That's it. They'll just, I've seen them walk through the crowds, you know, during church services and I'll see them brush their wings past people. And it's like, I can see the people experiencing the presence. They're hit, getting hit by the presence of the Lord in response to this. So they're just carrying presence. So I'm no expert, Marilyn, but I can just say there's lots of different angels. You know, Sarah, I think it's interesting about ranks of angels. I think all of us think of guardian angels. You know, we say, well, yeah, they're guardian angels, but I love this. And I, you bring this out very clearly when you see angels in different rooms in heaven, mm -hmm. that angels move at the command of God's word. Yes. They, we don't pray to angels. We no. pray the promises. Then God takes the angels to help bring about the promise. So this isn't loosey goosey. I mean, this is very much word centered and this will help you understand ranks of angels, but purposes of angels and angels in your own life, but they move, remember, at the command of God's word. That's mm -hmm. key for us. It's in Psalm 103. So if you never speak the word, I think your angels are very bored with you and you don't want to bore <laughs> your angels. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's so much power in our words and what we can release when we make agreement you know, with heaven and we pray those things, um, there is power behind them. And one time God, you know, I didn't have a real grip for this, honestly. I just would pray and think, God, do you even hear me? You know. <laughs> and, um, but one time the Lord took me, um, as I mentioned in the book, into a room in heaven where he showed me all on, there's floor to ceiling, just all these jars of um, things on all the, as far as I could see. And I could see Jesus in the very center and I could see angels were just around the room bustling about. And I looked at Jesus and was like, what's going on in here, you know? And I would see them go and get something and then zoom, zip down to earth with it. But at the command of him, it was like Jesus was really orchestrating everything and they were just watching him for his command. And I said, what's going on here? And he said, these, they're releasing the answers to the, my pr the prayers of my saints. They're releasing the answers to the prayers. But some of the angels were just standing by waiting, like just waiting there. And I was, and I was like, what, 
what's going on? Why are they just standing there, God? And he said, well, they're just waiting for the prayers to be released. So there is so much power. When God, when God showed me that, I'm like, now I, when I pray, I really believe there's power behind what I'm saying and agreeing with God with. They move at his word. The other thing too, and I would encourage each of you watching, you might be saying, well, I have all these needs in my life. And of course, if you have a financial need, a physical need, mom talked about that, the financial need for the lady that needed uh, right, uh, to get a house and all that. Right. We'd love to pray for you. And when you, when you call for prayer, get on the website, of course, grab your book, The Seer's Path. Super, super helpful um, to help you see better and, and experience the supernatural in your life. But one of the things you said on a uh, off camera is you felt like the Holy Spirit was kind of leading you to pray for people yeah. that have some knee and joint problems. So let's do that. Yeah. Tell, tell us what you th what you well, were saying. Yeah, when we were off camera, you know, this wasn't recorded, but I saw an, a quick vision of an angel carrying what looked like a kneecap. And so I feel like somebody who's watching this often is been struggling and it's something chronic. Now that's not something that I saw, but it's just, I get that word of knowledge. It's just a chronic thing that's been going on with their knees. So if I could pray, if Please. that's okay. That'd be oh, great. So yes. Father, I just pray right now, just the release of your healing presence over who's ever watching this, who's got knee problems, just chronic pain in their body. Father, I just pray the release of your healing over their body right now. I pray for you to come and just supernaturally transpose a brand new kneecap. Mm -hmm. I pray that um, all the parts of their knee, if, if there was a trauma or accident that happened, I pray all the trauma would go right now that's associated with that injury in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. The other thing on that is a cracked patella. That's what, that's part of the word of knowledge is it's a cracked patella and mm -hmm. somebody has fallen and cracked the patella. That's the knee cap. Mm -hmm. It was like that little bone. That's the name of it. Don't ask me why I know that, but <laughs> I just know that the Holy Spirit and what you're seeing, what, what's happening is that person is feeling heat mm -hmm. and there's a, a little bit, there's some of, some people getting a replacement and some people that's, that crack is being fused back together. So hop on the phone and get on the website and we want to hear what God is doing because what happens is so many times we're like, well, is this really true? Is this really happening? When we put it into words, it confirms and agrees with what, with what God is doing. So hop on the phone, get on the website, call and tell us. We love to hear those testimonies. Mom, oh, yeah. that lady called with her house and that's why right. we could share that testimony is because somebody called and told us. Exactly. We can't encourage people without <laughs> right. the encouragement. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to hear what God is doing. And you know, I like to hear from our partners. You're so special to Sarah and to me. Do you realize we reach almost 2 billion people a day, a weekday? How can we do that? We have partners. So thank you for being such a blessing. Now, Anna, you saw angels as a child. Mm -hmm. Do you believe children have uh, experiences with angels and maybe more oh, sensitive? I know it. <laughs> I yeah. know it. Um, my daughter, I don't know about my son yet, but my daughter, she's three and a half, and I know she can see angels. I know that she is very, already at a young age, she's carrying that seer anointing. Um, one time I was feeding her and an angel walked into the room and I saw it. And the angel looked at my daughter and she stopped what she was doing and looked at the, right at the angel. And the two of them were like having a conversation. She was, she was talking to it and the angel was talking about, wow. I couldn't understand anything. And, but she was laughing in response to the angel. Can you imagine? Wow. And she's just a baby at this point. She's an infant. Yeah. And then I've seen also the other side where I've seen when my husband and me are praying over people and they're getting delivered or whatever. And I could see some demonic stuff is there. Um, I s Hold on. We're yeah. going to come back and we're oh, going to finish. Sorry. have a prayer for everybody at the end here. But we want to encourage you. Hop on the phone. We want to pray for you. Just beyond what your eyes can see is a very real spirit world. For your gift of $25 or more, we'll send you Anna Werner's book, The Seer's Path, through an engaging blend of supernatural stories, including encounters with Jesus, experiences in heaven, and practical spiritual truths. Anna releases a powerful message that will help you start seeing into the spirit realm. This book will help you gain essential tools for engaging in victorious spiritual warfare, unique insights into the workings of angels and demons, insider glimpses into the rooms of heaven and the realms of God's glory. We will also send you Marilyn CD, Supernatural Strategy. This teaching walks you through the Word of God and teaches you how to be successful. 
you'll be encouraged to open your Bible and read God's plan for you and see that God's Word has all the strategies you'll ever need. Learn to see into the supernatural world and experience the wonders of heaven in your life today. Call or click today for this valuable resource. you but finish the story quick that was so exciting um I was saying that also my daughter I've noticed her see demonic as well and so as we're praying for people and if there's deliverance happening I could see her react to that so as parents um, we're just really careful what we allow our children to be around but also just encourage parents that you can train your kids in gifting at a young age. Sure. And pray. Let's pray as we finish yeah. today. Let's pray yes. for that. Um, yes. For every person watching that they yes. would have that ability. So Father, I just pray right now, whoever is watching this, Father, that you would just open up their spiritual eyes. Father, that you would open up all their spiritual senses to catch you, to catch what you're mm. doing, to catch what Holy Spirit is doing right now, even where they're sitting even in their house or wherever they are, that they would see you, Jesus. It's all about you, God. It's all about seeing you. Mm. We want the supernatural so we can grow closer to you. So Father, we just praise you and I just pray everyone's eyes to be open right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. This is so wonderful today. And Jesus lives big in you today because when we hear these supernatural things, he didn't call you for a natural life. He gave you a supernatural life. He gave you abundant life. Yeah. And so what does he give you? Abundant help. And I think this so helped me because I've had some experiences about angels, not a whole lot, but living in a dimension that's not spooky or kooky, but that is really biblical and that angels are sent to the household of faith. Hey, I'm in the house. Are you in the house? Be sure you get the book and be sure you call in for prayer request. And don't forget, today is the best day of your life because of Jesus. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. We are so thrilled that we get to minister to you on YouTube. So of course, you gotta hit the subscribe button because we wanna to continue to get to connect and at your convenience. That's one of the things I love about YouTube is you can watch at your own convenience and when you subscribe, then you get all the latest and the greatest.